What's up? This is the EA Mechlin guide I'm gonna make. And here's the pretender I'm using. If you wanna screenshot this, pause the video, check this out. I just kinda thought it was the best Hellbless I could come up with. Maybe you could make a better one. Anyways, I'm gonna load up this map I generated. We're expanding. And we're gonna go to EA. It's only a four player map, so I'll take those off. I'm gonna make these guys easy so they don't really get in the way. You can land nations too. And McFlynn. So initially we are gonna recruit one of these as a researcher because he's not sacred. Or dang it, there we go. So we get one of all these spammed out as much as we can. These guys start flying when you bless them and we want them to go hit the rear. And then we get a bunch of these because they have this hide shield. It's about the best we get out of our elite unit. So that's going to do good against enemy projectiles, and they throw javelins too. Our elite units throw javelins, but these guys are kind of a hybrid chaff and elite unit. That's why we're recruiting them. So put that on repeat. Prophetize this guy. We'll get this guy scouting north. He's on hold and attack rear. He's on fire and keep distance closest so that the eagle warriors kind of get the most action. Put them in line formations. Get those guys added in and divine blessing. And then claim life, claim life, claim life. things to take out seem to be these western indies so we'll take those and for the research priority i think we're going to go to alteration three for gift of cheated fate and body ethereal i think those will help us out in a early war and next turn let's see how this fight goes anything that's insane all right and i think the next province we go for is going to be maybe this heavy infantries and slingers i think we'll go for that I think we're gonna get a priest to start sacrificing because if we get a minus dom random event we kind of just get dom killed we'll get as much as these guys as we can and i think we'll call that another turn Let's see what happens here almost all of them okay dang 
Okay. So we'll get this guy on sacrifice duty. We'll give him a blood slave. And then perform blood sacrifice. Get this guy to bring some new eagles out over here. And these two armies will meet up there. I'm gonna attack rear. And what can this guy even cast right now? Not really anything. But we'll have him uncast spells anyways. And for new recruiting, we'll get a High Priest of the Sun. And we'll keep up everything else. And we'll call that another turn. See how this goes. All right. Oh, we lost our Nahuali. Jeez, not sure how. Did he route? guys sacrificed enough for now. We're gonna put him back to research. And then we have three provinces out there. Third Dominion. Alright, and this guy. Take all those. Take these. And we'll send this guy out further this direction. Uh, nah, maybe we'll go scout that, actually. And so this guy will take all of these Eagle Warriors. The one holding attack rear. These guys on hold and fire closest. So they're boxed around him. We'll put him on the other script we have for the other one. And these guys will just go south. These guys will just go south. Get another Nohali. Let's see how our fights went. Nothing really for attrition. That's that. Lose one Eagle Warrior on entry, whatever. So we're next to a Macone, okay. Macone. Have these guys move into this province to take those. And we'll have these guys move into this province to take these. Hmm. Actually, I think we'll go for this barbarian province. We just about have another, res uh, another expansion party. We'll see how that goes. And then we'll check our research. Slowly, slowly edging towards it. Because of this drain. And we'll see how this fight goes. So this is the barbarian battle. Some hits. 
see the attrition there. Okay. So they're basically all dead. Half of them are dead. Half of us are dead. But we'll take them out. On this entry. And over here we won. Okay. Only lost two low tier warriors. So we'll move on over here instead. actually have these armies meet for this fight. Okay, we got a hero. Dead three, blood three. Interesting. He's holy three too. Reanimator priest, no way. What? Nice. So our army's all won. Let's see by how much. So we lost a lot of eagle warriors against these hoplites. Lost a lot of eagle warriors against these jaguars. So we'll move these guys this way. We will have one of these guys. out here. We'll have this guy hold. We'll have all of these units go to one man. And then we go back there. And this guy will keep moving out. Take that wheat field for us. Alright. These guys are moving up to converge on one of these armies. So we lost four Eagle Warriors. That's it. Alright. And we'll have them go in that Deer Tribe province. Getting this guy is insane. One of the first kings of the empire. More slaves were sacrificed than during any other period. Nice, man. Alright. So we'll have these armies converge now. So we'll have 10 total eagle warriors. I think we'll have these attack here. Let's see how it all goes. Alright, so... Pretty deadly war right there. But we did it. Right about now, we're gonna be wanting uh, another fort. We'll get it here because it has the highest population. And we'll prepare for another one over here. So 
this guy will go all the way back to capital. mess with elephant riders or cavalry really because they'll mulch us and so we'll go on these barbarians with all these javelin throwers they should annihilate the barbarians plus 15 over here, okay. We're gonna attack this Ulm province. This is our new expansion party leader. These guys converge on these horse tribe cavalries. Monastery of Light, okay. annihilated by the Almish province. Just wanted to see what would happen over there. And so we got annihilated by the horse tribes too. Let's show you why these are so hard to deal with. and hit points on the actual soldier add up to 30. Pretty insane. It's over here, we got a bad event. Let's go fight these heavy cavalry. They're gonna be very hard to deal with. But let's go try it anyways. Piling up a bunch of units.
And we lose a lot, but we actually get the Heavy Cavalry province. Let's see how this goes. better than I expected, really. Lost everything, but we still gained a province. And it has a decent amount of income. It's probably why we can afford this new fort I'm making. We're gonna bring these guys back. some more different kinds of these guys. Just so we have a uh, rain ready if we're against Abyssia. And that's pretty much year one expansion. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 provinces. Eh, on this map that's pretty decent. It's not quite the 20 gold standard, but independence seem kind of harder now. So maybe this is pretty good. This kind of expansion strategy that I'm using gets me into pretty good positions in games that I'm in. So, hope it helps you. We're gonna quit. Goodbye.